Well, I think there's been major achievements here in a short time, three years. Uh, they've tried out three techniques for rearing the uh, young uh, clams, uh, an intensive technique, an in extensive technique, and a combination of the two. Uh, the intensive technique is quite new as applied to clams. The extensive technique has been used in Palau. What I think has been shown here is that both techniques can be successfully used. Uh, attempts are now being made to improve on those techniques so losses are not as great as they have been in the past. The other aspect that I think is very significant is apart from the MMDC, this is the only other centre in the world where um, uh, clams have been uh, pre uh, cultivated to the grow out stage and now there are quite a few clams out on the reef and this gives us some confidence that an industry can be established on this basis. As far as the different species of clams are concerned, the main contribution here has been in relation to gyjas. Uh, this species has not been extensively worked on before for mariculture, whereas I think in Palau the main work was in relation to Durasa. So this is also an interesting extension of results. As far as Australia is concerned, um, the industry is still in its very early stages, but there are already uh, at least two people attempting commercial operation near Cairns and a third company is considering uh, operations in Northern Territory at Groot Eiland and it's a very big company which has very good connections with Taiwan. Uh, also a number of Aboriginal Aborigines for instance at Palm Island have expressed an interest in growing Hippopus Hippopus. Uh, as far as other countries are concerned um, Certainly it could help in the same way as been suggested by Gary Heslinger in uh, helping with uh, additions to protein in these areas, both in restocking reefs but also in areas where reefs have been completely depleted and there's not much hope of restocking them and having the stock safe.